Hey guys, Airsoft Doc here. I received a message to my Facebook and I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a video. Um, the message is from a chap called Daniel and it reads, Hi Doc, as an Airsoft beginner I wanted to ask you which gun I should go for for a CQB environment such as the department. So I thought I'd throw on some random footage and go through the top 5 guns that I would use if I was in Daniel's position, uh, going to be playing primarily CQB and looking to get into the sport. First up, and I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I would choose a Secutor Abilities G3, either in black or tan, personally I'd go for tan. Um, these shotguns are nice and short, they are gas powered shotguns, so you do need to have some knowledge of gas guns, um, but you do have a choice between 3 and 6 shot mode, and particularly in a CQB environment, you can get a great grouping. Um, they do run from shells, so you will need to have extra shells with them, and you will need to practice drills as far as taking that shell in and out and getting those reloads smooth. Otherwise there will be a situation where you'll come around the corner, uh, you'll go to engage somebody and your shotgun won't have anything in it. Price point for these are still good, around about £150, so I think within the budget of a beginner. But just bear in mind that this is a shotgun and it is designed for short ranges, so if you want to take this outside in the future it may limit your play. Next up I've chosen a WE G17. Um, this is an old faithful for me because I have had a stock G17 now for about two years. I've done zero work to it and it still runs like a charm. Um, bear in mind you will need some extra magazines for this and the magazines are around about 35 to 40 pounds. Uh, magazines hold 21 rounds so you will need a few of them, possibly two or three, if you want to be competitive in a game. Very compact so you will be able to get around those tight corners, particularly at the department, um, but you will need to remember to keep an eye on your ammunition and also practice those reloads so that it's fluid and smooth. Next up we have a pistol that is super popular in the BQB circles and also IPSC and that is the Tokyo Marie High Kappa 5.1. It comes in a few different sizes and styles such as the gold match, uh, silver or black, so whatever you prefer. Price point for these is about £130. Um, it is a similar situation to the Glock in the fact you will need some extra magazines for it. Um, but it being Tokyo Marui, it will shoot very, very well out of the box. Um, their hop units are fantastic and you'll get really good range. Um, again, compact size, so easy to maneuver in CQB. You'll just need to make sure that you have your reload drills down to a T. Next up on the lineup, we have the G&G ARP9. Um, this is quite a recent release from G&G, but has proved really, really popular and is sold out in most places. Uh, price point here is about £180, between £180 and £190. Um, there are a couple of special edition ones you can go for as well. Uh, it does take a long stick style magazine, similar to like an extended Glock mag, and you can get those in high cap or mid cap, depending on what type of player um, you want it to be. Um, this is still a very short compact weapon system, so you have a 7 inch M-lock there that you can attach some accessories, so you had torch or peck box or cameras or whatever you want to put there, um, but it's still quite a short rifle, so it's not going to make it hard to get around corners in that CQB environment. Last but not least we have an Ares Amoeba AM015 Stubby Badger. I put this at the end of the lineup because it's a bit more expensive than the rest of the weapons here um, and if you're a beginner then £240 might be a bit of a stretch for you. It does come with a mid cap magazine so you would also have to think about buying a high cap if you didn't want to continuously be reloading. Um, this weapon is very very loud and very very small. I had the pleasure of using one of these at Strikeforce CQB and I was really impressed with its range and also how aggressive it sounds. Um, this is a real sort of loud and proud weapon so if that's kind of what you're looking for then this is definitely the weapon for you but just bear in mind that is 240 to 250 quid um, so it is going to sort of make a hole in your budget if you also need to buy gear and other protective equipment. Thanks very much for tuning in guys and watching my video about the 5 CQB weapons I would choose if I was a beginner starting out at the department in a CQB environment. Um, I'd love to know what you would think and what you would choose, uh, please drop them in the comments below and if you liked my video please like, share and subscribe, it will really help me grow my channel. Thanks guys!